Welcome back my dear students and uh, good morning uh, in the last lecture in marketing research course uh, we begin uh, chapter 5 about uh, measurement and scaling non-comparative scaling techniques we uh, finish part 1 we finished part 1 of um, uh, this chapter and today we will complete the uh, second part of this chapter uh, this chapter uh, is important um, in establishing reliability and validity of our skills otherwise we can't believe in our data uh, lecture uh, we explained uh, the continuous re some uh, ex um, uh, classifications of skills like the continuous rating skills um, items uh, rating skills like the liquid skilled uh, and the uh, semantic uh, differential skill and the stable skill um, the uh, items uh, skill decisions have uh, six decisions uh, we discussed uh, all these parts uh, and then we have two uh, types the balanced uh, score uh, the balanced uh, skill and the unbalanced skill uh, the balanced skill uh, is the number of favorable and unfavorable categories are equal in an unparalleled uh, skill uh, they are unequal um, some examples of balanced and unbalanced skill are given uh, in this figure in general the skill should be balanced in order to obtain objective data uh, however if the distribution of responses is likely to be skewed either positively or negatively an unbalanced scale with more categories in the direction of skewness may be appropriate if an unbalanced scale is used the nature and degree of unbalance is the scale should be taken into account in data analysis Uh, in this chapter also uh, we have the odd and even number of categories with an odd number of categories the middle scale position is generally designed as neutral or impartial the presence Uh, position and labeling of a neutral category can have a significant influence on the response uh, and the liquor scale is balanced rating scale with an odd number of categories and a, a neutral point in this part the decision is used to an odd or even number of categories depend on whether uh, some of the uh, respondents may be neutral on the uh, response um, being uh, measured if a, a neutral on or indifferential response uh, is possible from at least some of the respondents an odd number of categories should be used if one uh, the other hand the researcher wants to force response or believe that no neutral or indifferential uh, response exists uh, so we have uh, in this chapter many types of skill uh, discussed uh, and then this figure shows the development of uh, many of the multi-item skill 
uh, we have uh, some skills like the multi item skills uh, these multi item skills consist of multiple items where an item is a single question or a statement to be evaluated the liquid semantic differential and stable skills presented aerial to measure um, attitudes toward uh, Sears are example of multi item skills. Uh, note that each of these skills has multiple items. The development of the multi item rating skills requires considerable techniques, expertise, like uh, this figure is a paradigm for the constructing the multi item scaling like this uh, figure and these steps for the multi-item scale then um, and in this figure we have the scale evaluation we have uh, some uh, evaluation skills for the um, our questions and our research uh, data uh, these uh, skill evaluation included the reliability validity and the generalizability the reliability including the test uh, or retest alternative forms internal consistency and the validity included the content criterion and the contrast then the generalizability This is uh, an example about the potential sources of uh, the error uh, or uh, measurement. Um, but in the part of the uh, skill evaluation, we have uh, some um, uh, concepts or expression that we should. Uh, included um, the measurement uh, we mean with the measurement error is the variation of the information uh, sought by the researcher and the information generated by the measurement process employed the true score model a mathematical model that provides a framework for understanding the accuracy of measurement and the systematic error the systematic error affects the measurement in a construct way and represents stable factors that affect the observed score in the same way each time in the measurement uh, made and in the slide in the slide we have the reliability the reliability refers to the extent to which a scale produced consists uh, results in repeated measurement uh, or made systematic sources of error don't have an uh, adverse impact on reliability because they affect the measurement in uh, a constant way to don't lead to Inconstancy, in contrast, the random error products inconstantly leading to lower reliability, and the reliability can be defined as the extent to which measures are free from random errors. Like this equation, um, in the uh, reliability we have. Uh, a concept called the, inter uh, the internal cons uh, consistency reliability uh, this determines the extent to which different parts of a submitted scale are constant in which they indicate about the characteristics being measured uh, in uh, spell it have 
the locality the items on the scales are divided into two halves and the resulting half scores are uh, corrected Uh, the, all these are in the uh, reliability. In the reliability, also we have the coefficient alpha uh, or um, Crombus alpha is the average of all possible split half coefficient resulting from different ways of uh, splitting the scale items. This coefficient uh, varies from 0 to 1 and a value of 0.6 or less generally indicates the unsatisfactory internal uh, consistency reliability. Uh, and in the second part, uh, after the reliability, we have the uh, validity. Uh, the validity of uh, scale may be defined as the extent to which differences uh, in observed scale uh, scores reflect the differences among objectives on the characteristics being measured rather than systematic or random error. Perfect validity requires that there be no measurement errors like these equations and the researchers uh, may assess content validity, criterion validity, or construct validity. Uh, we have uh, the content validity and the criteria, criteria validity. In the content validity, uh, sometimes called uh, phase validity, is a subjective that systematic evaluation of how will the content of a scale represent the measurement task at hand, the researcher or someone else examine whether the scale items cover the entire uh, domain and then the criteria um, validity uh, refers whether a scale performance as uh, expected in relation to other variables selected or the criterion variables as meaningful criteria. And also we have the uh, construct validity and the uh, convergent, vari uh, convergent uh, validity. The uh, construct validity uh, is a type of validity that addresses the question of what construct or uh, character the skill is measuring and attempted um, uh, is made to answer theoretical questions of why a skill uh, works and what deductions can be made conducting the theory under underlying the skill Uh, then the uh, convergent validity and the uh, discriminal validity and the nomological validity. All these types of validity can be measure the validity. And um, uh, in the reference introduces the relationship between reliability and validity. We can measure uh, this relationship from uh, these different types of equations and there are some examples 